An emergency room doctor has called the death of a little Fond du Lac girl one of the worst cases of brain trauma she'd ever seen. Today, prosecutors charged Tyler Jackson with first-degree reckless homicide in the little girl's death. Fox 11's Lindsay Veramus has more. A mother who should have been forging Christmas memories with her young daughter now mourns her instead. There's um, a lot of questions that yet haven't been answered for the family, and uh, they're, they're presumably grieving as we speak and trying to make sense of what is nothing short of a tragedy. The mother's live-in boyfriend, 22-year-old Tyler Jackson, has been charged in 18-month-old Chloe Gessner's death. The Fond du Lac man was watching the girl Tuesday and claims it was a household accident. However, court records show his story and those of investigators don't match. According to the criminal complaint, Jackson told investigators his girlfriend's daughter was following him down the basement steps at this home. He says he left the room and when he returned, the child was lying at the bottom of the stairs with blood coming from her nose and mouth. Jackson called 911 and the girl was rushed to Children's Hospital in Wauwatosa, where doctors determined she was brain dead. In the criminal complaint, one doctor told investigators the brain trauma was one of the worst, if not the worst case she had seen, and not consistent with what Jackson said. The claim that the child was fatally injured in the course of a fall down six steps which were carpeted, um, we don't believe that that's possible. Court records show Jackson later admitted playing rough with the girl. He told investigators he wouldn't handle a puppy that way, saying it would be far too fragile. Those at Jackson's home did not wish to comment on the case. His attorney could not be reached. You know, whenever you're dealing with the harm to a child, it's just very, very tough to, uh, to deal with. In Fond du Lac, Lindsay Vermes, Fox 11 News. Jackson remains in the Fond du Lac County Jail on a $200,000 cash bond. He's due back in court next week.